Okay, um, well, uh, hello again. This is a very big day for me and for quite a number of people who are coming from all over Israel. Today, we are initiating a, um, actually a copper pyramid, uh, copper frame uh, temple. We are initiating a temple for the violet flame, one of the seven flames that the universe is uh, built from. And we are having people come from uh, a very powerful and important spiritual organization here in Israel called Telos Israel. And maybe you know what Telos is and maybe you don't, but if you don't, you're about to find out. And please God, we will link up this pyramid today with uh, Telos. So maybe we should begin by, maybe I should begin by introducing you to Ayelet Sigal, the, the leader of Telos Yisrael. Shalom Ayelet. Hello Eliyahu. Thank you so much for opening your house and heart for us today. Well, um, it's, it's my pleasure, our pleasure, and our big honor. And uh, well, um, Ayelet, let's start with basics. What is Telos? Hi, what is Telos? Telos, it's, um, it's magic, but uh, the Telos, the meaning of Telos is the spirit, the life spirit of the mountain. When we... That's the literal meaning of the name. Yes, the little meaning of the name. But Telos, it's a crystal light city that create under Mount Shasta, that is exist in north of uh, California and United States. Okay. One of uh, many of a uh, crystal city that there yeah. are all over the planet. Okay. What is so unique about this city is that in this city there are, there are a lot of um, energetic um, um, being in their energetic body that came to create and to save the, the culture of Lemoya, ancient, ancient Lemoya. Ancient Lemuria, which, like Atlantis, sank under the ocean only the Pacific, yeah. not the Atlantic like Atlantis, correct? Yes. Actually, Lemuria, as we know, is the big land of Mu, was in the, near the, all the beaches of uh, San, uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco. She was a big, big land. Yes, she yes. was actually much more uh, older than Atlantis. Atlantis. Yes. So and, I understand. And when the, when the land is sink, there was a lot of um, um, priests and a lot of people and the, um, a lot of um, masters that want to, um, to, to create and to um, save all the knowledge, the ancient knowledge. They came from um, a lot of um, years to come. They came and they bring it for Lamoya from a lot of uh, stars, so far stars. Yes. far away from other universe and they go and do, they build this beautiful crystal city underneath Mount Shasta. In other words, Ayala, they knew their continent would sink and they prepared by building a city for when that time would come. They prepared a refuge for some of the Lemurians. Isn't that correct? Yes, this is correct. Actually, they thought there would be 25,000 Lemurian that could be there, but it was so so um, um, fast that not so many um, success to escape. Some of them even escaped to Egypt, as we know, and built a Luxor, the crystal city beneath Egypt. Some of them go to South America. Some of, the, of them go to, um, as we know, um, a lot of other places all over the planet. Also, India, Yogananda, in his book, Autobiography of a Yogi, the great famous esoteric classic, he talks about also about Lemuria um, in his book. So yes, yes, yes. And now these days, um, we have the gift that all this city, Crystal City, and Telos, are start to be awake for us, the humanity. They start to connect with us. In the last ten years, it's amazing to see how all over the planet, these Lemurian people, that we are actually came again as a human being body in a different place or different life, but inside of us, the Lemurian heart start 
to feel the energy changing and shifting. And we start to remember again in our Lemurian life. And we start to, to get a special call from this mountain or from this city to go to these places to communicate again and to be one again with our Lemurian brother and sister. Okay, you know, friends, um, I first found out about uh, Telos from Cryon, um, the famous Cryon, the spirit, the angelic magnetic master, and, and the many books are channeled by Cryon, by Lee Carroll. And Cryon had a conference on Mount Shasta, and he started talking about Adama, the high priest yeah. of Telos. Here he is, here, isn't he beautiful? Uh, the, high, the high priest of, of Telos. Um, and, um, and that's how I first found out about um, um, Telos. And because I believe in Cryon, I investigated Telos. And uh, by the way, show the picture again. Cryon says about this picture, um, the artist received, um, saw uh, Adama, but she's, according to Cryon, the coloring of his skin is wrong. According to Cryon, his skin is more brown than that, brown. like a Polynesian. Um, and of course, the Polynesians are the direct descendants. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, when I, when I first um, um, read um, one of the beautiful um, um, women in this planet take um, the job on her shoulder, and she get the same call as a lot of other people and get to Mount Shasta from Canada, Montreal. Her name was Aurelia Louise Jones. The famous Aurelia, yes. Yeah. And Aurelia start to get a lot of message from, okay. from Adama, the, the major priest that come and give all the knowledge to the humanity, so to help us to wake up with this call as a human being. And she start to write three books about Telos City, how they live as a community. I do work in a circle, as we are making this in Telos, all this planet. There is a lot of Telos group all over the planet, and we are working as a circle. There's not one leader. I'm not a leader. Yeah. With me, there's a lot of beautiful people. We're working as a team together, and we are creating. And around us, there is a lot of other um, circle from our community. Even tonight, this beautiful night, a lot of our friends come in and bring their gift to the circle. And it's like everything is partnership and even. They have a, a masters with the energy of mas masculine and female, and they are working together as a team. They know a lot about the giving energy. They build the harmony from the open heart. You know, the no judgment and no ego and no control. And we, when I first read Aurelia Louis Jones in the second book, it's called the uh, Mesarimi Telos in English. It's a message from Telos, and I just put it down. I just felt inside of me the mountain called me, wow. and I just know I'm going to be there in my birthday, 35. Wow! And and so it was. And when I was 35, I get a flight ticket present from my brother. Until today, he doesn't believe why I did it. <laughs> okay. And and yes, I go to the mountain, and I had a very very strong experience. I, I, I want to hear. We all want to hear. Yes. Yes. So I, I was, I was. Um, it was a winter. It was all snow, a lot of snow, and I, I, I met this beautiful, beautiful angel in a human being body from Telos, USA, and I was you, coming. But you're talking about a physical person. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I had this journey. They make me like make me a section ascension ceremony. Yes. In a Victoria Lee house. She's the. Um, uh, she's the one that uh, represents um, the publishing of uh, Aurelia books after Aurelia go to the other side. Okay. And I had this journey, and in the top of my journey, I was going to the mountain, up, up, up to the mountain until where I could go there. Wait, uh, you mean not a meditation, but you really went as high as you could go? Yeah. I in had, your physical body? Yeah, okay. I had these beautiful um, um, special shoes and stuff they have in the winter. And I sat and I see the mountain in front of me, physical. And I saw the beautiful tree, and there is a silence, and the energy is fifth dimension energy on the mountain. It's amazing. And then there was Aurelio, a big, big um, dracon. You saw a dragon? Dragon, he came to me okay. by his body. 
I was already connected in my Terry body. Okay, but you saw it with your with your mind's eyes. Yes. Is that it? Yes. 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 The dragon that she writes about in the second book. Yes. Anthrus. Yes. The blue dragon. Apparently, dragons are real. The blue one. And they have their own dimensional reality, and that's why there are stories of dragons throughout all the cultures of the world. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and I just, it just take me for a beautiful ride to be open and release up to the mountain and go deep to the mountain and around the mountain. Wow. And then it took me very deep to the mountain, to the crystal city. You actually saw it? Yes. In meditation? Yes. Okay. I saw it. Okay. It was a life. I feel it. And I met Adama. Adama, um, it was very, very, very exciting meeting. Um, I suppose. Yes, and uh, I write it actually, Adama, since then, he's going with me. And um, what I felt in my physical body during this time was I felt the chakra keter open, and it yes. was like like somebody, you know, when you have a bucket with water, somebody pull it on your head. So I felt for a couple of minutes a whole washing into my body. All this place was open, and it was wash meal. All my body was full of... Um, energy, I felt like orgasm in every part of my body, wow, wow. every cell, an electron, an atom, and it was all a life. And I had a talk, and I made a commitment as I burn again to a new life with a new choice of bringing the the energy of the heart to the ah. people, the energy of them, of the to create a new humanity, to open the hearts, to feel harmony. To, to live as a friendship, to see the other one before you see yourself. And I make this um, um, community to myself. Commitment. Commitments to myself, thank you. And since then, when I get back to Israel, um, I, I met beautiful, beautiful friends that helped me, and we all together create Telos Israel. Telos Israel, it's, it says all the Telos organization all over the planet as Aurelia wanted to be non-profit organization yes and it's all volunteer time and hour and yes. all the beautiful people that bring for create Telos Israel and all Telos all over the planet just thank them because it's a lot of heart energy to put and it's it's a powerful movement here in Israel I mean I know you have a lot of members um, and uh, in Israel, it's not simple to get a movement like uh, a strong movement, and it's growing. It's growing very well, isn't that? Actually, it, it's amazing what happened in Israel, and I know there is a relationship between the Jewish people and our Lemurian soul. There is a very, very strong relationship. Well, Adama talks about that, doesn't he? Yes. In the second book, about how also the Jews have ancient roots in Lemuria, correct? Yes. Yes, of course, and a lot of us that came to Israel, as our, we chose to come and to be here, we are waking up, and it's amazing to see the two and a half years since we came here, there's thousands of people that I talk to them, and every day they are so exciting. From the call they get from the mountain, or from the masters, or from Adama, and they feel the heart, and they feel the memory, and they feel this love, and every one of them is becoming a light. Yes, yes. And this is, this is what we are doing. We are, we are having meeting with our community. We are sharing. We, are, um, um, we have beautiful uh, singers and people that walk with colors and light. And everyone brings his own light to the circle that we are create. One year in the summer, we're going to Mount Shasta as a group. And uh, this year, actually, we've been 23. And we meet with uh, our friends in Telos, uh, Montreal, Canada, and with our friends in Telos, uh, USA, and our friend with Telos, Japan. We are all connected to one the others, and uh, we help in each other. You know, we are support group. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And these are powerful movements. I understand they have a strong movement in France, in Canada. Yeah. I didn't know about Japan, but that's wonderful. Yeah, in Australia. Of course, Japan would be Lemuria also, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. Um, you know, they've discovered this huge underground um, city complex off of uh, the island of Okinawa in Japan, Yonaguni. Uh, do you know about that? 
Well, I, I heard a little bit about this. Okay. But I know Japan has been through a lot of um, shifting and of a lot course. of changing in the last um, two years. Yes. Uh, the people with all the what they have, the tsunami and everything. And, and, and we are seeing how even in the TELOS organization, things are changing all over the planet, you know. I mean, people coming and going. It's like in the mountain, they telling that the mountain call to people to come and sit with them. But when the energy shift, just let them go, you know, and it's it's changing because we are growing and growing and growing. What's so beautiful in in this book that Aurelia gave it's that this year it's been like 15 language, been translated. Oh wow, that's quite impressive. Yes, yes, all over the planet, and there's a new group from Telos Germany that just wake up now, and Telos Russia that just wow. wake up now, and Thank Telos you. Slovenia wake up. And there are more and more group of tellers all over the planet. The Lamorian heart is just wake up and it's amazing to see it. It's and you know, it is a specific vibration of, of this big loving heart. Um, yes. Something very special. So um, let's take a break. You could edit. So Ayelet, um, you were initiated by Adama to do this work and to lead tell us Israel, tell us Israel, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say that's correct? Well, I don't know, I just... Um, when you felt this, this energy pouring over your head like water, I mean, that, wouldn't you say that was an initiation? Yes, exactly, it was. I just, um, I felt I was um, like, it's like all my life, it's like I opened to the universe and I was in this place that my soul just like saw everything in my life I chose again. I just like really remember my chosen when I was up there and I came down. And it just, it just like um, I make this commitment in my heart and in my soul. And since then when I get to Israel, the, the, the orange flame, there is a, the... It's so strong in me, you know, it's the flame that you walk in, the creativity, and I feel like every, there is a fire in my bone and in my body, and I just keep going, and, and just, we, we walk in with the, with the mind, the master, and they keep telling us where to go, what to do next week. Uh -huh. We got a message to go to Ashkelon to make a beautiful peace, peace process to bring here to this Middle East and to Israel. Wow. So we gather with a lot of friends, and a lot of friends from out of, you know, and, and we're going to make peace. So we are walking with them, and yes, I, I did in, the, in some place, and um, my life changed completely, and um, I chose again a new life and um, to live from the, my Telosiani heart. Your Telosian heart. And uh, did he, did, was there a specific message when you met Adama this first time? Did he say, go and... Uh, Make remind Israel of their Lemurian background. Was there a message that, well, that you remember? Did it give you a specific message? You know, all this, um, all this, my journey. One thing that I keep see all the time is how much the world is too small for the feeling. Indeed. I don't have words to 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 tell what I felt. When you said love, it's not love. When you feel the love in the fifth dimension, in Telos, or in in the other dimension, you feel this creation of love, the God love. So you don't have what to put in this. And when I, okay. when Adama came to me and start to be with me as one, as, and sometimes I see him as my father, you know, and, and I have family in Telos. I'm going every day to Telos. I have friends. I have family over there. I have other life except of this life as I yell it. And sometimes it is confusing, but um, I have my friends that help me and um, um, very good friends helped me this couple of two years and she was like my mentor, you know, and because um, you need sometimes to understand again how to live in the third dimension because you see the difference. Actually, this is what we're doing here in Tel Israel. We have this, um, we try to make, to build a bridge between the fifth dimension to the third dimension so it will help us more to live here in the same energy we like to create and this, this time, Mother Nature, Gaia, is like coming again, you know, all the planet is shifting, 2012, it's shifting to another yes. dimension, and, and you see more and more people leave this dimension and, and open, and, and you, you see the difference, but then again, you see the people that they are more in the tough, you know, in the old energy. Yes, but yes, yes. 
but I see the children, you know, in my position I'm a teacher, I work with children, I'm a teacher in school in, in, um, in junior high. Also your mother. And I'm a mother for four children. Whoa, okay. Yes, and, and I see these beautiful children that bring the light for this planet and bring the light for the family and, and make their parents like shifting. It's yes. amazing to see. Yes. And, and Adama and the Masters and the mountain, it's beautiful, but we need to keep remember that we are living here and now, and how we bring this beautiful light that we feel in our heart here and now to this planet, to our community, yes. to our family, yes. to our land, to our countries, to our planet, you know, and, and actually this is what very, very important for us to do. You bet. Yeah. Um, you know it first. Well, I, I don't know, you know, but I'm trying to get it. Um, and um, okay, so so Ayala, um, you see Adama all the time. You say he's with you all the time, yeah. he, uh, and and he speaks to you, and and he's given you uh, a book. Even is that right? Yeah. When I was in my um, um, when I was on the mountain, I came when I had three boys. And the Adama told me, you're going to have a girl? And I wow. said, wow, okay. So I get back to Israel and very quickly I was pregnant and I did have a girl. My husband told me, if you had a girl, I will believe to your tell a story. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and this beautiful girl, since I was with her in my seven pregnancy months, Adama set me in the computer and started to tell me, okay, you're going to write a book. And uh, I you said... You made a channel to you. Yes. And you typed it on the... On the computer. And I type it long, long nights and uh, two years of long um, 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 channel and experience that I had in a lot of astralic journey because you are going to a lot of places and he had this beautiful book that they talk about uh, Telos and take you to Telos. It, it's talk about um, in English. This is the book you wrote with Adama, correct? Yes, it's from theory to practice. From theory to practice. A journey for the uh, section um, through Adama and a lot of other friends from Telos. A journey for the section? Section. Italut. For ascension? Ascension, sorry. Ascension. Okay. A journey for the ascension. And, and it, what was the final part of the name? It's uh, guided by Adama, the great priest of Telos, and another friends from uh, Telo City. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of um, um, connection for uh, children education and there is a oh. part about the um, uh, sex energy. Very important. Very, Very important. important. How, we, how we experience it so um, not correct in our third dimension. No doubt about it. Um, hmm. Now in, in Telos, first of all, just to say a little bit, Adama is what? 20,000 years old or, or their, their life is completely, I mean, very, very different than ours. Yes. Uh, how old is Adama? Well, actually, I don't know I am how old. I didn't ask him, but he's okay. very, very young uh, for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> very, very young old. He came from, with the big, big sheep from all the planet. So he came from the first sheep that came to create this um, um, planet. He came with a lot of beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, 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 I don't know. Um, soul, energy, not human being, but energy um, that came to create the tree and the beautiful um, Lemuria. That, yes, um, yes. All of us came later after them. So he's, he's here from the very, very first. As his name implies, Adama, which is sort of like Adam, Adama Kadmon, Adama Rishon. Um, but I won't go into that right now. But they live a long, long, long time. And they leave when their when their time is, is when the time is ready for them to leave. It's it's very different than it is here. Adama actually Adama is actually a lot of aspects. Some of him energy is in his planet. Some of him is in the Telo city. It's not like us. We we thought we are here in our physical body. I'm here now. No, even you, you have your aspect, your energy. They are in other places right now. Right. Some of me is in, in Telo City right now. Some of me, a little bit is in Ayelet, but only a little bit. But we are so much, you know, when you're getting out from the, um, the limit of time and uh, space, you understand the universe a little bit because it's too much for our small brain. Yes, yes. And it's open and open. And as much as you go in and learn and, and keep um, 
this experience more and more, you understand how much this whole planet, God planet, is so big, you know. Even Thanos, it's kind of small experience to all the God planet, you know, all the whatever, you know. And, and it's amazing when you go in, but sometimes I'm going out there and sometimes, you know, you have your travel and you're going so far away and then you understand, you know, our planet is very, very small in one of small universe, in one of small Marechet Hashem and solar system, solar system, yes, yes. and etc. But, but um, yes, this idea of um, we are one aspect of the high, of the greater soul. We have a higher self or an over soul, and the the Ayelet that I'm talking to has parallel aspects in other worlds, and just like I do, like all of you do. This is Seth talked about this a lot. And Kryon, I think, talks about this. And yes, um, there's much more to us than we yeah, than we don't, we would have dreamed. Um, I keep going to Telos. You know, Telos. It's my home. I feel my Lemurian heart over there. I feel the energy, and and it's amazing all this way that I keep doing. It's amazing to see first how I've been changed because I've been changed and released a lot of them. Um, um, things I not um, I don't need in my life today, as in my behave and my thought. Yes, a lot yes. of this all, you know, you you keep going and going in this journey of light, and all the time you go deeper and you're going deeper. Yes, it's yes. a circle. It's never end. No, it never does. It's never end. end. Okay, and um, so so Adama is with you all the time. That's what you said. Yes, more yes. or less. Um, I, I can read if you like. Um, well, I'm something about to actually, You can if you like. I it's an e -book. I'm actually. Uh, well, I'm wondering if Adama has a message for our, our, our audience today. If you'd like to to say something. Um, okay. Yes. I, well, it's in the night. We're going to make it in Hebrew. Yes. So but, but now we, we can in English. we can make it in English. So okay. he's here with us, and so the master. So let's see. Let's see. Indeed. Haya. Welcome, dear Hi. brother and sister of Lemuria. I welcome you, hello. This is Adama, the great priest from Telos, Aya. talking to you. I want to say, to say hello, to say hello to all the listeners that came here and listened to the story of Telos, the story of this place that opened the heart of the human being. This secret heart, this secret heart that takes us to these places that we are, want to be remembered again, to the pure love, to the place that we know to give our passion to every human being, to every life on this planet, to the place that we know to be one, to be create our love at every place that we are walking and want to create in our life. The story of Lamoria, the story of the land that no longer with us in the physical dimension, but it is, exists in the fifth and in the sixth dimension. Bring the story of the harmony in this land, the harmony of this planet. When we all came to this planet, we want to share our game as a planet that chose again, one more again, to chose every soul chose their own life, his own thinking, is their own creating, and we are all created from our deep, deep love. In these days, a lot of people are waking up for the call of Lamoria again, oh. and they get remembered in, the, in their oldest and ancient lifetime. Our Lamorian heart starts to open. We keep build and work on our etheric body, on our crystal body, in our magnetic body and with this body that we are keep cleaning and may growing up more and more we can open more and more us to the new energy that coming to this planet earth that re burn again to 2012 we are as a puzzle a big puzzle coming together People with the right vibration that open for the heart, coming again, one to the other, and we remember again in our family. 
we meet again our old friend from this time 26,000 time ago we've been together ah. and this time we come in again to celebrate to celebrate the changing of humanity to celebrate the creation of the light again as the planet become more and more clean and more and more full of light the universe become more and more clean and it affect all the other universe etc and this you know you need to understand ah. because this small planet has a big big responsibility for all the change in the creation and that's why we are here with you and that's why we are celebrate and that's why we making this gathering so you will all that wake up will know each other will meet each other will talk the same language we all one we all the same ah. yes my love you need to understand this is a very very happy day although sometimes you get inside and with this remember of your home you may have homesick as we call it but you need to understand part of you most of you are not exist in your body and you are in so many places and make light work and we walk with your body your physical body that change and shift so you could connect to your other aspect and to be one and with this energy you could create everything that you will like in one second of mind you need to understand that your mind is changing we, we learn and teach and tell us to think and to learn from the heart, the secret heart. No limit. No limit at all. Ah. We are hugging you. Ah. We are loving you. We are with you. We ah. are support. We see you. And we whisper in your ears all the time. We whisper your love. You whisper the awakeness. We whisper you the ah. knowledge. The knowledge that needs to come to you at this time. Give yourself the opportunity. Listen to your heart. Feel your heart. Oh. We say hello. Uh, I, uh, Adama. I, uh, say. Hi, hi. Oh, oh. oh wow. Yes. What a big energy. That's a, a very powerful uh, energetic presence. Wow. Yes, it wasn't easy in English, but ah, it was okay. <laughs> it was very good. Color come on. Yes, and uh, the, ma, the Ma is very, very strong energy and um, very assertive. He knows what he wants. And... Um, and he do his, this is his mission to, to wake up the humanity, to wake up and to make us understand and get back to our knowledge, who we are, what is our uh, mission here, you know, to bring love, just, just to be love, just to, to watch your world, to watch your mind, to see how you see the friend before of you, you know, to help, to be harmonic to the, to the people around yourself. And this is what we are in study, all of us. This is Telos. Okay. And you know, um, I, yell at, I understand, like, I read all three books. Um, all of them uh, begin with the word Telos. And I really, really recommend uh, by Aurelia Louise Jones. And um, they say, one, one of them uh, said, one of the masters said, they have their own physicality. Yeah. It's, it's not correct to think of them as just energetic beings. Yes. They, they have houses, and when they sit in a chair, it feels like when, when you and I sit in a chair, um, just that they have much more light. The percentage of light is much greater. So they're able to do much more things, like um, telepath from place to place or build their beautiful crystal houses yeah. uh, from their thought. So they are greatly empowered because they are much more light, but they have their own physicality. They make love and they have babies, but the babies are seven months, not nine months, as I recall. Yeah. Um, Actually, when, when I'm going to Telos, I have friends there, and she's taking me to a small village. And you see that her house, crystal circle house. Whoa. And I'm going there and I'm sitting with her and she gave me this liquor. Uh, it's like a, a, what? A, a, a liquor, it's like water, but not water. She gave me to drink, like, okay. you know, and she, and we sit and we talk about children and education and everything. And 
and it's it's different it's like a jello but but when you but when i drink it you know you feel the effects in your physical body it's amazing you know and and and, and th- it is exist you know they have this beautiful beautiful temple they walk with the seven secret flames yes yes and we are now we're, today we're doing the violet flame yes, yes and they keep going there for themselves and it's so important for us to go and to wash ourselves with this flame because This is how we keep our vibration, you know, to go lower, low, lower, 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 and but to go higher. Yeah, and, and as we, we need like to keep clean us because it's very easy to go down. Yeah, it's in this like world, it's really easy. Very yeah. easy. And they, are, they, they have the center of the city, and in the center of the city, they have this big, big flam going up, up to the top, like 20, 30 meters. And, and, and there's a lot of gathering over there. And they in, have the concert house. City, not in Telos. But this Telos. little, in Telos itself. Okay. Yes, and they have the concert house. They have a lot of places. It's like, they have this dolphin place. It's like a very big beach of dolphin. It's, it's, it's inside of the crystal stone. Most of them, it's, they build and create with the crystal because the crystal, it's a material that can take all the light inside himself and yes. make it so strong. And, Um, it's amazing to go and to travel. I recommend to read the book and to just go with your imagination and the imagination take your etheric body and your physical body to experience the fifth dimension real- real- reality. Yes, um, and you know, uh, friends, um, it's not just Cryon and Aurelia who talk about Telos. Telo, then the, the Native Americans knew about Telos. Yeah. And it's in their tradition. And uh, different traditions talk about, ancient traditions talk about the city under, under the mountain. And including a book I'm reading now by a man named John Pinial um, called The Lost Teachings of, uh, I forgot the exact name, but the author is John Pinial. And um, so, um, okay, um, well, that's, it's been, uh, Very inspiring, I yell it. I once interviewed Eric Berglund, the, the great, famous harpist and spiritual teacher. Yes. And what a Lemurian energy he has. And I really, so you know him, I see. Yeah. And I we've, really been like his, we've been now in his house in our journey in August. Wow. We go to his house and he makes us a beautiful concert. As he did here. So strong, yeah. Amazing. Friends, um, If you want another delicious example of the Lemurian energy, uh, if uh, Ayala has awakened that taste in you, and uh, well, she has in me right now, then I recommend watching the film with Eric. And he did a concert here, and we filmed it. And it's something very, very special. So anyway, Ayala, it's been uh, uh, totally fascinating and a real pleasure. Thank so thank you. you very much. Thank you so much, Eliyahu. For being such a beautiful place for the light here in Israel. Thank you to that, to that, to that. And thank you to, to all of you. Thank you. And uh, just love. The Lemurian Heart. Bye bye. Bye bye. Heart one heart. <laughs>
שלנו שקעה לפני 12,000 שנה על ידי האוקיינוס השקט. האסון שהחריב את רוב היבשת שלנו, יחד עם כמעט 300 מיליון איש מאנשינו, יצר חורבן גדול על פני השטח של הפלנטה ופגע פגיעה קשה בתושביה. עם האדמה חוותה זעזוע קשה רוב האנשים לא היו מודעים כלל למתרחש, כמעט כולם ישנו. מספר גדול של כהנים ומוזיקאים התנדבו להעניק סיוע ונחמה ולטעת אומץ בלב האנשים כדי להפיג את הפחד ולהקל על הטראומה. הם עמדו על משמרתם חסרי פחד, כקברניטים על ספינה שוקעת, שרו. והתפללו בעת ששקעו מטה אל מתחת לגלים. ואתם, עמוק בתוך לבכם, ממתין לכם הזיכרון התאי לזמן שהוא יוכל לעלות על פני השטח ולהירפא. זהו השיר האחרון שאושר. ולמוריה בעת ששקעה.
Hey, I'm fucking right! But don't know you, I'm fucking right! Ah, that I, you can't make way in an underlay. 